How's it everybody? I hope you're all well. You're most likely writing your accounting paper one today in the two o'clock session. If not, maybe you're a great 10, grade 11 or 2026 20, or 2027 20, matric. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope your prep is going well. That being said, let us get into this last minute tips video. So question one, company financial statements. Uh, look, it's like just jumbled up. I just took this from like the most recent sub paper, but look, the mark allocations, I can't guarantee that interpretation of financial information will be 40 marks. It could be a little bit more, it could be a little, a little bit less. And um, same for all the other sections too, right? So question one, the company financial statements, uh, the two statements that you will look at, uh, uno, dos, the SFP, the statement of financial position, and the SCI, the statement of comprehensive income. In other words, your balance sheet and your income statement, respectively. Yeah, look, pretty much everything is examinable here. It is the crux, the essence of all accounting. Um, they could give you a whole income statement. They could give you a portion of a balance sheet, whatever it is, and every single adjustment in play. Uh, look, just be very careful of the loan adjustment, the rent adjustment. Um, yeah, those ones can get a bit tricky, even an insurance one. Just be very careful and just as a rule of thumb, if you're getting a decimal, uh, your answer is probably wrong. I'm not saying that it is, uh, but yeah, the, the likelihood is high. That really should be a major factor. So yeah, just be 100% prepared for absolutely anything that can appear in these two sections. Question two, uh, fixed assets. So here, you're pretty much thinking like note three. Note three is, yeah. It's a really hectic note, LEV, so land and buildings, equipment and vehicles, highly examinable here. Your cash flow statement, oif, we're thinking oif, probably wondering what is wrong with Goon School right now. Um, operating activities, investing activities, financing activities, in that order, anything is examinable. Like uh, question one, they could give you an absolutely killer cash flow statement, or they could just say, hey, complete the finance portion, whatever it is. And they can also integrate your retained income and ordinary share capital notes here. That's very, very important to factor in. And then you've got your financial indicators. Uh, let's just call that in terps, your typical ratios, other basic calculations. Please utilize your formula sheet. And most importantly, just know like what's what in the formula sheet. Like there's like 20 formulae there. Uh, plural of formulas is formulae, huh? You, you thought you came here for accounting, you're getting an English lesson right now. So yeah, just, just know what's what. Make sure your calculations are good. And when they say comment, just tell me if the ratio increased or decreased, or is the current ratio closer to the two to one norm, or is asset test ratio closer to one to one norm? Oh, um, debt is collection period, it uh, reduced in days. That's good, we're getting our money faster. Little things like that. So I pretty much discussed question three as well. So what I've just discussed with like the actual ratio calculations and comments, that is more question three. The financial indicators that you could get here are similar to the ones in question three. So yeah, again, just know everything in your formula sheet, know how to comment, and yeah, you, you really should be fine. This is, this is not a scary section. I think it's really easy. It's like one of the softer parts of this paper. And then we get to corporate governance, all your audit reports, your whole ethical stuff. I'm talking King Code, all that good stuff. Yeah, that is also really, really important for today's paper. Now, if I could just recap and just go into a little bit more detail, like the crux of everything. So just have a good understanding of like GARP and IFRS principles, you know, those generally accepted accounting principles. Have an understanding, just a basic understanding of your ledger accounts, especially in company and financial statements. Like it's not examinable, but it could really come back and bite you if you don't understand the whole ledger accounts, especially regarding tax, ordinary share capital and all that. You won't get a ledger account, but just, just understand it, man. Just understand the basics of it, especially in question one. Look, having an understanding of AOL, um, that is going to aid you a lot in financial statements, but they won't give you a proper AOL question, okay? This is not a grade 10 exam. Um, and yeah, just know what the basics are, like what final accounts are, trial balances, all that good stuff. Have a good understanding of the formats of your income statement and balance sheet. Regarding cash flow, again, solid understanding of the statement, what goes where, know the format. What if they don't give you the format? It's over for you, okay? Have a good understanding of it. They could put it in bold and they could help you out, but yeah, just stick to your guns here and you should be fine. Uh, same with fixed assets, like the, va the valuation of it all, knowing the format of your note three, practicing your note three is absolutely imperative. To some degree, having an understanding of inventory valuation, like the whole perpetual periodic kind of thing, it could come back, especially they could integrate it in a financial statement or even in the cash flow. I have seen it. And again, just going back to corporate governance, just professional bodies, code of conduct, like the, prof the professional body that governs like corporate governance in South Africa for uh, accountants specifically is is SICA. Okay, they hold accountant accountants accountable for their really poor decisions. SICA is S-A-I-C-A. Uh, understanding just your typical code of conduct for an accountant, ethical behavior and corporate governance, especially in the whole financial environment. 
um, and all like legislation governing companies. Look, that just an overview of it. That is not going to be examinable. But yeah, just understanding King Co, transparency, accountability, reliability, but don't go heavy into like business studies. Um, and close corporations, that is not examinable. Okay, that is no longer a legit part of accounting in South Africa. But yeah, guys, you, you should be fine. Okay, so just uh, like last minute tips, last minute revision, just what's going to come out. Uh, what's not going to come out. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hope I didn't take up too much of your really important study time. But yeah, all the best for whenever you're writing. Goodbye.